what's up people i know things look a lot different right now as far as the quality and all i'm gonna say is that you should just be be very happy for me that's right i got a brand new camera right now i am shooting in oh hey self oh see that's the only thing i don't like okay there we go there we go so yeah right now i am shooting in hybrid auto mode which is probably one of my favorite modes so far um of course the movie mode is cool but yeah i like this one because it has the face auto detect thing and i can see myself and this is just very cool y'all this camera can see everything i didn't realize i had so many red spots on my face that moment you're about to head out of the house to go out and your friend tells you she's no longer coming but she said it's not her fault so i'm not gonna be mad at her however that sucks like a lot like sucks because now i gotta go out by myself what's up good people okay so this is a dirty camera alert but i just wanted to come and show you my outfit and today y'all are going to travel with me and we're going to go to a model call that i am helping to judge so y'all know i wear these jeans to death these are my um express little cutout jeans that's dressed in the knee area and then i have on these boots from forever 21 and then i have on a um little black button down from h m and then my hair let me see if i can turn this around let's see this is my hair situation of the day so i just have it pinned up i have to get used to this vlog camera y'all this is way 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 different than my phone so just bear with me while i get used to this and yeah this learning curve is about to be something else but i'm excited so y'all come with me on this journey today um if you know anything about cameras and want to teach me, I'm open to it. Am I focused? I think I am. I hope I am. Child, you can see all up in my business with this. Oh my. Gotta get used to this. <laughs> Y'all, this cereal right here is bomb. I got this from there we go i was trying to get this <laughs> focused anyways this is sold exclusively at lidl it is bomb y'all freaking amazing and y'all know i'm about that coconut milk life this is awesome so i'm about to eat this for breakfast i don't know if i'm gonna have anything else i think this is it oh why is it so bright there we go i'm learning this thing y'all oh now it's too dark wanted to vent real quick but this thing ain't gonna focus on me what's the problem stay in focus stay right there stay there okay so i needed to vent real quick so i was having a conversation with my mom and a couple of her friends you know girls night you know talking junk that's what we do best but um we were talking about like when me and my twin sister go out to the club, like how different we are, whatever. We are very different in every single aspect you can ever think of. Um, but this camera's gonna get on my nerves. So I was saying how my sister, you know, she's a great dancer. Guys always checking for her, blah, blah, blah. And one lady wanted to focus on the fact that I said guys are always checking on her like they're not checking for me. They do. But when we were younger, my sister was heavier and she wasn't really into guys and stuff like that. You know, because whatever. You know how guys are. They're not really checking for chubby girls at a very young age when we get in that little flirtatious age and starting to figure out our bodies and boys and stuff like that. Y'all know. So, in my mind, like, why does it always have to be a comparison, like no not even a comparison why does it have to be since i say one thing it means the absolute opposite like i don't know 
Let me tell this boy I'm here. Hey, do I just walk right inside? I'm parked out front. But yeah, I, I was saying she likes to dance with guys, whatever, and I don't. That's just a preference. Number one, because I can't dance, and I don't like the idea of twerking on random dudes. That's just me. I don't know. Maybe my mind would be different if I could twerk, but I don't know. I'm, I, th I think I still would have the same notion. I would reserve that for somebody I'm dating or like I'm seriously interested in, not just a random. Because guys are different nowadays. Like they don't, they can't just take a a dance and leave it at that like they feel like you owe them something oh he's coming outside i gotta go so we're about to go into the model call i'm so excited i love doing model calls i love helping train and develop models and stuff like that so i'm looking forward to that there he is but i told them that i like to dance by myself and they was like why because you want attention like, why can't you genuinely just want to do something? Like, why does it have to be a rhyme or reason? Like, why can't it not be, I just like to dance by myself? People just do too much. Like, I was trying to get you on my vlog. What did you say to them already? Well, it's a dope camera, too. Thank you. I was talking to them about something I was having a conversation with my elders about last night, not you. But say, hey, who are you? My name is Rondell Tucker, and let's see. You gotta say your whole name. <laughs> no, I usually don't say my whole name, so I usually try to just keep it Rondell. Come down, because I don't know. I'm still learning how to use this. I'm gonna have to edit this video. Okay. My knees be hurting. Okay, he acting like an old man right now. <laughs> my knees be hurting. All right, bye, y'all. Okay. A runway retreat right. where it's totally different. Will see our favorite celebrities with a certain outfit on, but they got it from the runway, but the model on the runway wore it completely different. You see what I'm saying? Okay, so y'all want the runway look. We want the runway look. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna actually do different. It really hasn't been done yet. So it's gonna be a lot of work. Um, I'm actually that they, I actually that they all have at least four designers by today. The designers are not even in Richmond right now. Um, we're gonna go ahead and push. I'm gonna add you to our chat. Okay, I'll make sure. Auditions are over and we actually just decided to come down to the space that we're going to be doing the actual um, fashion show in. I got to stop looking up there. I got to look right here. And we're just doing a run through. Here's Rondell again. <laughs> Did you get good news? Yes, we can close okay. the bar. So I'm at my mom's house. I'm so tired. It has been a very long day. I'm going to take a nap. Oh, yeah, I think I should go take a nap or at least get comfortable because... I am my consultant. She is in town from California and everywhere else that she's been um, being a flight attendant, but she's in town. I have not had a retire. I can't even find a date, but it's been at least since like um, July, like mid July. And today is September the 9th. So yeah, we'll go do that. And then I also have to do some fashion week stuff with Dominique. He's gonna come over while I'm getting my hair done so I can kill two birds with one stone. So that is the deal. I'll talk to y'all in a little bit. So tired, mm, so tired. Good morning, y'all. So I just wanted to come and say good morning, number one, happy Sunday. I'm actually, um, on my way to church and it's been forever since I've been to church so I'm excited a friend decided they wanted to come with me and that's the reason why I'm pulling out this camera to talk to y'all real quick the channel is gonna have a portion where we just talk about living authentically in our truth and sometimes that represents the good the bad and the ugly and also the indifference 
um people are not perfect all the time you don't love well you don't like your loved ones all the time you don't um always like yourself all the time now overall and in general i hope that most of you guys love and like yourselves but if not you know that's a, that's another thing that i, I want to try to help um i want to help instill in you guys as i've come to learn and like myself as well but like i said in general i do but i do like myself but some days you have those days when you like girl especially if you're a person that's always been on the path to self self-development and you revert back to ways that you know you kind of thought you were done with or you would rather be done with but we like i said we're human so that's um why i wanted to introduce that portion to this channel that portion of just living authentically you whether it's the good the bad and the ugly because it's going to be good bad and ugly and indifferent so i i don't want to say i don't have a concept of time because like for work you know i'm there 20 30 minutes early because i know that i need to be but that's something that i made myself be able to do because I'm just like such a free spirit and like to get up and do what I want to do when I feel like doing and it's kind of like that defiance that still the will that I, I had or that I used um, as a child so when you're young and you have issues with authority um, or just listening to people like certain things can trickle over into your adulthood and maybe that's just one of those things I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being a free spirit or just wanting to do things on your own time because who, who are you? Unless you're like bothering people, it's not a problem, but that's the part that I wanted to talk about. So I was already planning on going to church. Somebody asked me out to brunch and I was like, well, that's cool, but I was also going to go to church and they was like, okay, well, you want to do brunch in church? That's cool. That's what you want to do, but I know that I was going to go to church. So my intent honestly wasn't to go to church with the person. It was to go to church and I was saying yes to brunch if they were, if they were still interested after learning I was going to church. I didn't know if it was gonna be too late for them, whatever. Cause my service starts at like 11, 11.30. So um, they asked what time service started. I'm always walking through the door at 11.30. Like it's 11.16 right now. I'm probably gonna be in there like 11, 11, 11.20, 11.25. Um, I'm just so used to doing things by myself that I don't even know what time the service starts I assume it's at 11 because by the time I get there 1130 um, The singers like the chorus and stuff. They're still on stage and then the pastor um, Have I been in focus? I don't know I need to clean my glasses, but yeah the pastors um, going on stage pretty much by the time I Get there. So I told them 11. I think I mean, anyway, I'm not going to go into all that, my ugly parts about the show. But um, long story short, I texted them when I was leaving out the house. And prior to that, they had texted me and said, see you soon. I'm like, okay, we already established that. So I didn't um, text back. I don't know when this person left the house. I don't know if they left before they said, see you soon, whatever. But I'm just assuming, I didn't assume anything. But like, if you didn't say I'm leaving the house, I'm not going to know when you're leaving the house. Long story short, when I said I was leaving, they were like, oh, um, you know I'm early or something like that. Because I asked where they were. And I get, I don't know. Long story short, they were in route before me. <sighs> and I think they got an attitude about that. But it's just like, that's why I like moving by myself. Because I'm so used to moving by myself. Until I'm like seriously dating somebody. Or I'm going out with like a family member or somebody that I truly care about. And this does not to sound like arrogant. I'm pretty sure it may come off that way. But like I said, I'm just living in my truth right now. And it's something that I want to work on, which is why I'm speaking about it. But um, I need people to work with me too. Like, why didn't you just say, hey, I'm on the way or something? No, people are just speaking on my nerves sometimes. And then you got an attitude with me. Like, you asked me what time service started. I said 11, I think. Because I truly don't know. Like I said, I just assume it starts at 11. Um... But in my mind, like the ugly part of me wants to say, like, you invited yourself. Like, if you mad because you did before me, then that's on you. <laughs> like, we didn't even talk about what time I normally get there. Like, I don't know. I'm just, I'm getting this off my chest right now because I don't want to take this into the house of, of the Lord. I'm about to go find a parking space. Because I'm grown. If it was me, let me tell you what I would have done. If I, if I invite myself out somewhere... And you're not there when you say you're going to be there. If it's someplace like church and I'm going for the word, 
I am going to go find a parking space, walk my happy tail inside that church and sit down. Like I'm just an independent thinker like that. You still gonna have to look for parking? What you, what you gonna wait on me to do that too? I just like independent people. Oh, people are going left. So maybe they got some parking spaces left. Oh, they do. Oh, cool. Well, look at God. Yeah.